uh, a very, very good badminton umpire, has been recognized by the Badminton Federation worldwide, and uh, I've had the pleasure of uh, watching him officiate in many matches. Here he is now, uh, giving last minute uh, instructions to the players here. Prakash wanting to make sure that all the players are clear as to how many points uh, the game is going to be because he doesn't want to uh, extend uh, the match too much, I'm sure. He wants the tournament, after having the, the tournament uh, concluded so successfully, would like a brief and short exhibition match here. Uh, their game about to commence, Deepika Padukon serving to Amir Khan. Meanwhile, I'd like to remind the viewers, uh, all five matches having concluded here on the final day of the Tata Open. The day started with the mixed doubles final, which was won by Arun Vishnu and Aparna Balan. They upset the top seeds B. Diju and Ashwini Ponappa here. And the women's singles final was won by Sayali Gokhale. She beat Neha Pandit. Uh, I'll come back to that later. Now, this exhibition game starting here, Deepika Padukon serving to Amir Khan and uh, there was Prakash returning very well Aparna of course playing a brilliant game always she hasn't lost any of her magic touch nine times national women's singles champion says it all Amir Khan uh, not serving as well as he acts Probably a better actor. I th I'd heard he's a good player. Maybe he'll uh, improve as this game comes up. Uh, Parna Popat there on his side. So I think he has a good chance against this father-daughter duo. Yeah, that was a good shot, Amir. Crowd loving it. The crowds just loving this fun, fun game here. Cheering all the four celebrities. Uh, Milan pointing out to me that he's got a tennis posture. I was uh, telling you, Milan, that he is a good tennis player. Uh, it's it's his main uh, game basically. And badminton, over the recent years, he's taken up basically to improve his fitness. And that would uh, definitely tempt me to go on to my eulogy of badminton and the demands this game has. Believe it or not, uh, this is the most demanding game. It, it demands maximum fitness. It's more than any other game. You, you take a racket game or you take any game, whether it's cricket or soccer, this game today demands maximum fitness, whether it's in terms of stamina, speed, reflexes. It's, it's just the most wonderful game ever. Well, a good rally here. And uh, Aparna Popat there, you say, uh, ranked as high as world number 16 at one time. Aparna Popat uh, alongside Amir Khan in the celebrity match. Father-daughter duo of uh, Prakash Padukon and Deepika Padukon. Well, Amir Khan showing almost Lagan-like resolve over there. But uh, he has the advantage of being partnered by nine times national champion Aparna Popat. This is All England winner, 1980, Prakash Padukon. Prakash, one of the highest ranked badminton player from the country, world number one. Anil, that's why I go back to the uh, principles of Baron Pierre de Coubertin of 1852 of getting people together on one platform. And I don't think there can be uh, any better platform than sports because you don't have uh, a sportsmen going and acting. They could be very few uh, if, you, if you really count them. But uh, you can look at the number of sportsmen who take to sports, as you rightly mentioned, uh, for physical fitness. Uh, actors. The, the actors, uh, uh, ab absolutely. And you did mention about fitness because this is a game like tennis which is played by, by people who are 65 and 70 years old just to keep fit. They play doubles, they may not play singles, but uh, certainly badminton and tennis uh, are two games which is universally played 
uh, uh, for fitness and and as you said the regimes or the demands of badminton are, are so much but look at these out there they haven't shown any huffing or panting or puffing just goes to show that perhaps they play so much of badminton more as a recreation and that keeps them so fit and and fitness in today's world because of so much of stress and strain fitness has become so important yes milan the uh, rightly pointed out uh, tennis and badminton two very demanding games but uh, as i was saying uh, badminton to my mind is definitely the most demanding game yes uh, it's it's showing uh, they, they're all uh, seeming to be fit prakash even today of course very fit and uh, although uh, amir not by profession a uh, badminton player or a sports person as you pointed out milan uh, definitely fit uh, because uh, he does uh, play badminton for recreation and in the process of course gets fit and here of course i would like to resume my uh, part about the matches that we've had so far i had mentioned the mixed doubles final which was won by arun vishnu and aparna balan upsetting v diju and ashwini ponappa and the women's singles final won by sayali gokhale versus neha pandit uh the women's doubles final was uh, brilliantly played again by aparna balan and shruti kurian the number 1 seeds they beat uh, nitya sosle and pradnya gadre of maharashtra nitya sosle of course of karnataka and the uh, men's doubles final was won by the number 1 seeds rupesh kumar and sanave thomas uh, they were stretched the distance by the young uh, arun vishnu and tarun k brilliant performance by the youngsters went into 3 in fact and the men's uh, uh, the, sorry the The men's singles final, of course, was won by the number one seed again, Chetan Anand, beating Anand Pawar again. The game, the match going into three, a brilliant uh, singles final we were treated to here. Uh, meanwhile, uh, this exhibition uh, game continues. Prakash Padukone and Deepika Padukone on uh, one court facing off against uh, Amir Khan and Aparna Popat. Aparna Popat, of course. the legendary aparna popat women singles champion national women singles champion nine times and on the other end prakash padukone legendary men singles player both legends here uh, accompanying uh, bollywood uh, celebrities dipika padukone his daughter and uh, amir khan on uh, the other side partnering aparna popat Well, Anil, we spoke about Prakash Padukone and uh, Pulela Gopichand, the two men who have won the coveted All England crown. We'd also like to remember there was another Prakash, Prakash Nath, who reached the finals of the All England many, many years back. So, the very few players and uh, Prakash Padukone, in fact, uh, went on to win the World Crown. Also, that was the following year, 1981. That was a golden period for Indian badminton. This is Amir Khan. Uh, well showing that uh, how fit is and he spoke about the importance of fitness uh, in uh, today's uh, world full of stress and strain and no better game than badminton to keep yourself fit uh, in, uh, cricketers uh, of the stature of sunil gavaskar plays badminton quite regularly at the bombay gym khana aparna popat uh, showing even in this tournament uh, that she might have been out of action for some time but as she showed in those mixed doubles she lost if i remember correctly in the quarter finals showing that she's not lost any of her skills as they say class is permanent form may be temporary well uh, amir khan i just get the feeling growing in confidence in the company of aparna popat the father daughter pair on the other side i'm sure Prakash might be remembering the early days when I'm sure he would have given coaching lessons to very young Deepika. Deepika herself, uh, having played uh, the state juniors before she switched over to modelling and the cine world. Uh, there in that rally, uh, Kishore, we saw glimpses of uh, Prakash of yore, and of course, Deepika playing a uh, very good shot too at the net. Well, the crowds are enjoying it. They had an evening which was filled with excellent badminton, following it up with uh, 
the celebrity match between uh, the father daughter pair in the far court prakash padukone and deepika and in the near court uh, nine times national champion aparna popat partnering amir khan that's been a packed house at the cricket club of india's new laid courts the state of the art badminton courts here four courts in all and this is the center court where all the finals were played this afternoon <laughs> well that was a shot amir khan can call all his own what was it anil a flick or was it a uh, kishor uh, <laughs> well firstly i i didn't really see it i think prakash objecting uh, this is what my impression was too uh, that the racket had crossed the net and uh, point being awarded to deepika and prakash here uh, milan meanwhile has joined us in the commentary box so milan i think you have something to say to us oh, yes uh, since you're talking of prakash uh, go back to that 70th all england championship in 1980 which we all know but uh, it's more historic because it was the first open all england where there was a uh, thousand pounds of prize money for the men singles uh, winner the indonesian aura of invincibility in fact uh, waned uh, when uh, prakash uh, house smashed one said uh it shattered limb sweeking then after that uh, anil go back to uh, a tournament which was the friends uh, providence masters open where prakash padukone played morton frost his good friend and can you imagine the scores there 15 4 15 11 that of course was the era when they played uh, those uh, 15 uh, point gamers and then it was the commonwealth games 1978 when prakash padukone beat uh, uh, derek talbot of england 15 9 15 8 of course how can you forget four years later 1982 it was uh, sayed modi who beat nick yates so that was an era when you had padukone and sayed modi then that void when uh, gopi chand came in for a, a, a fair, for a bit of time and now of course uh, we've been talking about this today while we're looking at this match out here indian badminton today getting the best best ever news with uh, saina nehwal now moving up to 6 anil if you remember in hyderabad when we were broadcasting honestly i felt that she would languish around 8 9 10 8 9 10 and she's i think proved all of us wrong and she will continue to prove us wrong and i think that won't be a happy day for us when she moves to 5 4 and and who knows to one because the chinese uh, are always there the chinese are, are are a factory which keeps on churning out sportsmen and badminton is not no exception but saina nehwal of course six today i think there couldn't have been better joy from an indian sports perspective level on badminton uh, milan now in this uh, brief couple of minutes that you just spoke you've talked uh, a lot of uh, things about legends, absolutely. So we ended, of course, with Saina, but we started with Prakash, who's on screen now. And uh, what a legend, what a legend. Brilliant, 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 absolutely. In fact, uh, you mentioned his matches against Lim Sui King and Morton Frost Hansen. It was, in fact, uh, to a large extent, uh, playing in Denmark that polished his game. He had a good fortune to train in the company of uh, Wharton Frost and uh, others there. And uh, eventually, of course, uh, polishing his game to a huge extent there. Yes, Milan? And Anil, that was the time when there were no sponsors. So, uh, it's difficult to compare eras. Uh, it's not fair to compare eras because they all talk of uh, is Federer the greatest, is Sampras the greatest, is Lever the greatest, or is, uh, is uh, Don Budge or Perry the greatest. Each era, you know, uh, in every sport. I'm not getting cricket here at all, but uh, certainly tennis or badminton. So. You'll never, you'll never have a, a pinpoint saying that Prakash was or was a Nandu Nataka during his time, uh, and and some of the others, you know, George and, uh, and and yes, absolutely. But but that was the era when there was no money and they had to go and fend for themselves. Today, at least, I'm saying these players have that extra advantage of sponsors and others chipping in to make sure that they can travel around the globe and get some better facilities and better training. Absolutely, Milan. Uh, that's a huge point that you made, in, and uh, we have to then again uh, give more credit to Prakash. I mean, I was actually uh, running short of breath in my praise for him as it is, but uh, yes, uh, he deserves as much praise as possible. This man, a legend, absolutely, and deserving of as much praise as possible because, as you pointed out, Milan, it was in an era when there were no sponsorships, hardly any international exposure. Hardly any international exposure, which, uh, I mean, if you compare today's uh, generation, gets the benefit of. And Prakash, in those absolutely adverse circumstances, he had uh, literally nobody in India 
because on the domestic circuit he really couldn't uh, get anywhere near the level required to compete at a tournament of the stature of All England. So uh, he somehow or the other managed to do what he did and God knows how he did it, honestly. I mean, when he did it, he took the whole badminton world by storm. I mean, we in India obviously were delighted, but it was a surprise nevertheless. No matter how pleasant it was, it was a surprise. And uh, it's, again, I mean, I'll go back to giving credit to this man. I mean, he's a brilliant, brilliant player. In fact, uh, he, when he beat uh, players like Leem Sui King, he had uh, a definite disadvantage in terms of uh, whether it was athletic ability or whether it was uh, the power, whether it was a smash. He lacked a lot in the, those areas, but he more than made up for it in terms of tactics, his skill, uh, whether it was uh, a touch play, as you might call it, uh, it was uh, delectable drop shots and excellent court court coverage uh, and superb placements that stood him instead against uh, players uh, like Reem Sui King. And uh, the other factor is, he, we keep on talking of uh, humility uh, and, and, and being, uh, being, having your legs on, on Mother Earth. I, I don't think there's any other sportsman or a better example than Prakash Padukone. Uh, he always had his, uh, his, his um, head on his uh, shoulders, never allowed them to droop, uh, never allowed them to, to with, with the, with the uh, grace that he had, uh, you know, go around tom-tomming that I am the All England Champion. And even today, when you speak to him and when we speak to him, uh, no one would really guess that he has been an All England Champion. If, if uh, uh, Anil, and I'm sure you agree with me, if he was born in some other country, and I'm not taking anything away from this great country of ours, uh, if he was born in, in, let's say, Indonesia or Malaysia, I think he would have been uh, a much bigger hero than what he is. If he walks on, on MG Road in Bangalore, or if he walks uh, at, at, uh, at Nariman Point out here, I doubt whether Prakash Padukone will be recognized. So that's his humility and, and his uh, entire approach to life as a human being. And that's I think, is a le lesson which all of us must learn at every age, not necessarily sportsmen. Uh, well said, Milan. Uh, a man who's always uh, been down to earth, very humble, a very, very good person, very, very uh, excellent human being, Prakash Padukone. Yeah. But then again, uh, Milan, I would like to say that uh, the other all Indian champion that we have here, I had mentioned P. Gopi Chand. Meanwhile, I'll come back to that. Meanwhile, this uh, match is over now. This uh, exhibition match, which was played between Prakash Padukone and his daughter Deepika Padukone on one side versus uh, Amit Khan, man on screen here, and there the lady on screen, Aparna Popat, on the other side. Uh, so the crowd has uh, had their fill of uh, excellent badminton earlier in the day, and now they're fill of uh, celebrities. So the crowd uh, really treated to a good day's play here at uh, the newly laid courts at the Cricket Club of India in Mumbai. And uh, I would like to come back to the point that I was making uh, to Milan. Uh, Milan unfortunately has left the box right now. But I was talking about uh, P. Gopichand, the other men's singles champion that we have here, the All England champion. And uh, I would like to say that even uh, Pulila Gopichand, a very, very humble person in spite of uh, winning the title uh, like the All England men's singles, which is a title as all badminton aficionados know that uh, any badminton player would give his right hand to win. Uh, Milan's back. So Milan, this is the point I was uh, adding on to your point about uh, Prakash Padukone's humility and uh, being an excellent human being with his feet on earth always. Uh, I was adding the name of uh, the other All England singles champion.